This video will show the MD-NASTRAN capability of including contact in a linear static analysis. Here we show our finite element analysis workflow and we'll be concentrating on creating our loads and boundary conditions which will include contact. Contact is necessary for a finite element analysis because normally elements that aren't connected via a common node aren't even aware of each other and would pass right through each other as shown here on the right. Therefore, standard finite element solutions aren't sufficient to model contact problems. MD-NASTRAN supports contact in its linear static analysis. The contact bodies don't need to be in initial contact, the nodes of the contact bodies don't need to be aligned, and deformable to deformable and deformable to rigid contact is allowed. Bilinear coulomb or shear friction is also supported. Now if you need more complex contact simulation, you have the ability to create a Solution 400 nonlinear simulation without having to redefine your contact surfaces from your linear static analysis. The process of performing a linear contact analysis in MD-NASTRAN begins with importing your finite element model, then you'll define your contact bodies, define your analysis parameters, which will include a contact table, perform your linear static analysis, and review your results. Let's get started. We will begin in PATRAN by creating a new database. Here we'll use our default tolerances and then import a NASTRAN input file which contains our finite element model. So we select this file, click apply, and we're given a summary of the nodes, elements, loads, and boundary conditions that were imported. Now we will go on and under loads and boundary conditions create our contact bodies. So we'll set the object to contact and the option to deformable body. We'll select our current load case and then enter a name for our solid body contact. With our target element type set to 3D, we can select all of our model with the option set to FIM, and this will only select the 3D elements as shown here. We click Add and Apply, and now we're ready to define a contact body for our plate. This will have 2D elements, and so again we'll select all the elements, this time picking the 2D ones, and click Apply. Now we'll show the loads and boundary conditions present in our model. And we can see that we have a fixed edge, a load applied in the middle of the plate, and that our solid body is constrained. We're now ready to perform our analysis. We'll set our action object and method to analyze entire model in full run and enter a job name. Then we'll click on solution type and note that this is set to linear static. Click on solution parameters and then our results output format. Here, for our contact analysis, we'll need master and dbl output. Under contact parameters, we'll set our contact detection distance tolerance to 0.05, and then make sure that quadratic contact is not activated. Click OK, bring up the separation form, and enter a force value of 0.01. And then click OK to close all of these forms. Next, we'll define a subcase. We'll use the load case that's already defined and enter a name. Then under subcase parameters, we can select our contact table. Here, all of the contact bodies show up. We can deactivate self-contact for both the base and the plate by clicking on their entries in the contact table to make them blank. We can then click OK on both forms. We can apply these changes to our subcase and click OK. Now we'll select this subcase as the one to be run in our analysis and click OK and Apply to begin our linear analysis with contact. Once the run is complete, we can access our results by attaching our master file. We can select this file, click OK and Apply. Now we're ready to post-process and view our results. We'll create a deformation plot from our result case where we'll show our displacements. We'll also modify our scale to show the true deformation rather than an uh, exaggerated scale. We can rotate our model and see this deformation and also note that our shell elements do not penetrate the solid. Then we can create a fringe plot to show our maximum von Mises stresses throughout the entire model. We can click apply and then view our stress results. This completes our simple linear static contact analysis.